Okay. Uh, speaking of which, I'm not going to pick the Wonder Water. Let's go with the Peter Pants and try to have a like a really good Peter Pants game actually on cam. But also, we know Wonder Waddle can't be in the game unless someone turns into it because I didn't take it. Speaking of turning into stuff, uh, Shades Realm, do you know if you can turn into someone that another player as pl is playing as in this game? Because uh, that's one of those things I am unsure about how that works. The Wizard's Familiar isn't bad, but I don't necessarily think it's worth locking for. We're just going to start with a blind mouse because Peter needs good ways of getting things. Rude. Only if they get knocked out first. Okay, so it is possible, but only if they're not in the game. Understood. Um, given the fact I can't actually get a second unit anyways, I think I'm going to go for the lucky. I know that the, the, the Trojan Donkey increases my odds of winning the round, but the lucky is going to just make me scale faster because it's like getting two free gold every round. <laughs> also, it's Evola, unless they haven't pulled well, then they're just going to beat me anyway because they win the early game pretty consistently. Nice. Them attacking first made all the difference for me getting my discount. Um, I mean, I definitely want a True Love's Kiss. True Love's Kiss is so good. Okay, I think what I do here is I'm actually going to lock and just grab as much stuff as I can. I might end up True Love's kissing the Lucky just because it's um, it's an understated high level unit, or not high level, but for Pan it's high level. <laughs> Let's see what we hit though. Mmm, that makes me want to wait around again because uh. Being able to polywoggle is a big deal. Okay. do something like this hopefully just get a, a transformation i know i'd probably be better off putting in a different spot but it has extra health and we're gonna just hope for the best with that nope not getting it unfortunate Yay, you at least gave me my discount. I'll take it. Another polywoggle. I think we're officially at the too greedy to keep holding and waiting point for the true love's kiss. Heh. <laughs> One singular puff puff. Let's go puff puff build activate. Uh, we'll go ahead and do something like this.
think that's actually not an awful attack for us. Come on. Ooh, yeah, we get a level. Okay, what are we getting? What are we getting? That would have been amazing if I hit a Puff Puff. I would have been ecstatic over it. Of course, no such luck. Um, we'll grab the adventure and hopefully use it to scale some. If I use the Brave Princess and actually get it to go off, then Prince Arthur will accomplish some stuff. So that is a thing. White Stag is also one of our, my best bets of actually getting things activated. Huh. Level-wise, Princess is actually in line to make something happen, though. It also means I can not position as far back. Okay. I don't think I want to lock for the stag either. I think that's probably a little too slow. I just want to keep finding sets. Honestly, since we got the Arthur, we probably want to try the dig for some stuff that can actually get buffed by it. Okay, I'll take a trade. <sighs> Tie is better than loss. Okay, let's see what we have going on. I could just shoot up to five now instead to Puff Puff is at least scaling itself. So that's probably the plan. I know Adventure can be really good with um, with Pan, but let's do this for now. Okay, that at least scales me. I have some mages already too. So we maybe have a game plan now. Oh, speaking of maybe having a game plan. The extra attack for now is actually probably fine. And then, um... The familiar is a mage, but is it enough for me to lock for it? I don't have anything that lets me rapid fire spells. Hmm. I don't... Hate it though. I'll, I'll hold on to it. I might be able to hit um, Crystal Ball and a couple of um, Slays, and if I do, then it's gonna feel bad if I passed it. And there's not a ton that we're looking for at this point, so we might as well at least give it a shot. This is actually. Not going horribly for us either. I might even just want to dig for Humpty Dumpty's and try to get an Easter egg while I still have stats for it to matter. I could transform this Puff Puff now. That actually might be a good idea. That's not awful. It's just, if I play that, I have to actually dump something. I guess we're already to the point of the polywoggle is getting more awkward to actually do anything of notable value. Because getting it slays and shirt or is getting harder and harder the longer this goes. And even just a random one from the shop is going to slay better on average. Okay, that's great. I don't think I want to sell for it, though, because two blind mice is pretty good when you're in pan. <laughs> okay, if we can just get one more slay with this princess, we don't have to worry about it, about keeping a slot open for it anymore, too, which is super important because we... 
just want to be done. Okay, we have a good chance. Dang it! The only target that we couldn't slay. We've talked about some bad RNG, man. Just lost a freaking 75% chance in my favor. Well, at least it looks like we're going to take home some gold from this one. Range characters in the back have extra stats. Isn't awful. I'm currently nowhere near being slain. So let's do that. So I could just go for more range units now, but um, at the moment it's still not quite the plan, I don't think. Cool, I'll take a, a free gingerbread party. I could swear the random spells could only hit things at your level, but the gingerbread party is a higher level than me. Maybe it's based on the stage of the game rather than your level? Uh, casting a spell every round when I have a uh, Aeon in play seems like a good strategy to be in. Um, I don't know that we have room for the mage, but archers will do a thing for us at least. That mage just was not the correct flavor of it. Okay. Like, technically speaking, the Shadow Assassin works for our build too. It's just, uh... There are more options, and this is a little bit cheaper. So, going with the princess gives me a little bit more flexibility here. Man! Never lucky on these um, slay chances, though. Yikes. That pumpkin, the random pumpkin that hurt. That gave them so much tempo advantage. And now there goes my attack buff. Now my odds of the sleigh going off are so much lower. The creeper isn't awful, especially if uh, I end up needing to be out of the princess, which is becoming more and more of a reality. I mean, if I'm going to buff a monster, I'm going to take this. Um, Something like this. <clears throat> it hurts to give up a thing when I was just about done questing it, but the fields are already to a point where killing with it was next to impossible. There's a time to give up on quests and that was the time. I think we're most likely done with the Minotaur now, so sure. Nice. There we go. Um, okay, I'll take the fancy pants, I guess. I am an evil. Um, I 
Okay. I'm thinking unless we uh, get a really unlucky matchup, we're going to at least top four this game now. That was such an unlucky freaking sarcophagus from them at us. They robbed us of our range attack. Yeah, speaking of getting unlucky things, there you go. They just got to scam a win out of me. A lot of that was where their sarcophagus hit too, but they also had the right spell to scam me. Doublies aren't awful, but I think I'm I'm in evil at this point. We're going to try to get as many spells as we can. Oh, I forgot that we had the buff. I grabbed that to give myself more flexibility next round. I almost want to lock for the Mysterious Scroll, but I don't think so. I feel like um, with where we're at, we're going to want just as much range as possible. They have a freaking Ambrosia Great Pumpkin King, so I am not very hopeful about this. Look at Krampus actually getting an evil build. Must be nice. Funny how the Echo Wit isn't as big as a threat as you'd expect him to be, though. Yeah, that hurts. There goes my extra units, and they had attack. We still got there, but... People are definitely catching up to where I'm at, and I do not like it. Normally, be better to buy this first, but because this can boost my stuff, let's do it like this. Funny enough, I'm not so sure I want the second Shadow Assassin now, especially because I hit another Spell Weaver. I feel like I'm officially at a point where I just want to finish that Wicked Witch so I don't have to waste a slot on it. That was the case of Always Punished. I didn't actually recognize Earthquake for a second because they had a new artwork too. Uh, do I lock for two blind mice? I don't think so. Honestly, I... I'm more tempted to lock because it has a potion of heroism, which can go off multiple times, than I'm than because of the fact that hmm. like I could put another range unit in play too. The problem is, is I I intrinsically give up damage by doing that most of the time since I have um sarcophagus. Ouch. Double ouch. Just Wow, they literally just sniped all three of my range attackers. That's actually super frustrating. Like, at least the first two was like, okay, you know, 66% chance, now 50% chance, and then like 25% chance. So the overall odds of that were so low. It's craziness. I just keep getting offered these stupid shadow assassins. Like, I know I can triple Shadow Assassin. I want to triple my th other things I've been trying to triple, as it literally offers me another Shadow Assassin. Are you effing real? Um, I'll take extra health on that.
offer me literally any of the other stuff I'm playing, please. In fact, let me just dump this Shadow Assassin really quick. And we'll go with that into that and lock here. And we're probably going to use the True Love's Kiss to transform something. And I'm thinking I want to transform the Shadow Assassin. <clears throat> because, um... It's not scaling with the rest of my units. I'm not playing Slay. I don't expect to find Slay. The only other thing I, that I would consider transforming, I guess, is the Sheep and Wolf's clothing, but I am taking a risk by doing that, because if I hit a Tier 5 that doesn't work with my comp, I am giving up a thing. I do have room to do that, though, but an upgraded unit or a non-upgraded unit is also a factor. There are considerations to be had. Ouchies. Double ouchies. Wow. You're casting a lot at me. I'm not going to win this one, but I'm not going to lose as badly as I could. Ouch. Top four, like I predicted. I'm not expecting a win. Expecting the top four. Oh, I guess a top four is a win. I'm not expecting an uh, outstanding victory. Just called the top four, and we're there. Finally! Give me my wizard's familiar. This is a little awkward, but it is what it is. Um... Leaning towards something like this for now. I guess I could hypothetically just gamble on high rolling with this. But if I don't high roll, it's going to feel really bad that I took it. Oh, thank you so much. Give me. I didn't have a lot of time to choose, but I think overall that's a fine choice. That was a good random spell. Give me some stats. Not happy about that Jermunger getting its stat boost, but uh, it at least died. Range attack powers activate. <laughs> Woo, got there. Top two. I don't think I'm taking a first, though. Look at that Glenn's health, too. I was thinking about maybe moving the creeper somewhere else, but the range attackers being safe is, I think, more important. I mean, at this point, just getting a second spell for sure is probably the option. Oh, got another one. What do we get? Probably nothing we're going to keep. Yeah, didn't think so. I could keep the Ring of Meteors, hypothetically. I guess it's... The gloves... The thing is, the Gloves of Thieving is going to be one of my only ways of getting more expensive units. If I manage to get some wins, I need a way of scaling against them and stuff. I think I'm just dead though. I don't I don't see a way of winning this with uh, their current build. They have so much stats in play. I would have had to get some scammy free spells to even make it happen. And the problem is they're also scamming with spells. <laughs> yep. Second place, I'll take it. That's so much better than some of the places I got throughout the early portion of this stream.